Hey guys, Ryan Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. Where am I? Where am I? Hey, I'm, I'm pigeon hunting. I'm like, I'm pigeon looking, pigeon snooping, pigeon traveling. Hey, as I say, the beat goes on. Da da dum da dum da da da. We're at a loft. I was referred. Three supers referred me to another super. And when you get referred to supers, you go the distance. That's what you do. You go the distance when you find the supers. Now, guys, we're working on season five. We're in season four right now. We're still working on season five. Why are we working on season five? Because we're all fucked up. That's the truth. We're having fun today. You're going to see there's a pigeon guy here in the background. Father, son, team. Kevin, Zarafa, K and J, Zarafa. The J is for your dad, John. That's right. Fortunately, he's no longer here, but he's in the loss with you every day. He's here in spirit, yeah. He's here in spirit, and that is great. Guys, if you have questions for Kevin, now is your time. Guys, we want you to get intimate, get interactive. Ask the stupid questions, because if you don't ask the stupid questions, the show's boring. John Gladwin is with us. Frank the Tank, Icorn is with us. Greetings, 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 greetings. Now, Kevin, for just a quick rundown, quick, fast, and in a hurry... A little bit about yourself and about the style of pigeons you race, the distances you race, etc., etc., etc. If there are questions, I will put my finger up and I will ask you. But guys, now is your time. Greeting from the Philippines. Yes, we love the Philippines. They have great bok choy. <laughs> Go ahead, Kevin. Yeah, so I've um, so been racing since 1994. Uh, I started when I was 11 years old. And um, at the time, uh, my dad used to do a lot for me with regards to finances and running me around, changing, uh, training the pigeons and that sort of stuff. Um, and then as time progressed, I had a little bit of a spell out of the pigeons because uh, different kinds of birds came along in my life. Um, and then came back in. Uh, me and my dad uh, then raced together as K and J. And like you say, unfortunately, he passed away about six months ago. And, uh, and now it's just me on my own. So I've got to try and fly the flag. Lee Davidson says, are you fond on grizzles? <laughs> he is. He is. He is. Okay. He loves a grizzle. He, 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 he's got a grizzle called Scarlet. So, he, you know, he like the little plug there. A little, uh, he's your plugger now. I, Come on, Lee. Um, I love grizzles. I mean, there's a few in here you can have a little look at. Yeah. These, um, are, these are some extras, some, some absolute beauties. These are, these are sales birds for the end of the year. They've been bred early, so uh, they'll be nice and mature for when we sell them and, uh, and people want to wanna breed straight out of them. Um, a quick yeah. look here. This is a really, really nice loft built by Jeff Greenaway. Um, that's your young bird loft. It's the young bird loft. So um, Jeff Greenaway built it from Ireland. Um, we had a bit of communication. I designed uh, some features in it that I really wanted to make things easier for me. I'm, I'm a working man. I go to work. Um, so time is of the essence. I want things to be sort of fairly quick, fairly easy. I don't want it to be too labour intensive out here. So. So we built in some features which uh, we can go through if, uh, if you want to at hey, some point. Hey, wait. They've seen it all on the loft tour. You guys got to tune in. This guy <laughs> crushed out the loft tour today. I'm telling you, the waterworks were working here. He was on fire. He was on absolute fire. The lawn looks good. Yesterday, I seen him. He come back from the show, and you guys seen that grass cutting. Again, you've got to get it just a little bit greener in the middle, but that's okay. Now, um, <laughs> I'm always excited. You like to fly distance racing. That's, that's your, like, yeah. your your specialty here. Yeah, so that's 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 the goal is to try and get pigeons that can fly 500 plus miles, uh, preferably on the day. You know, that's that's what we'd like to do. Um, so we've built a team over the last few years. We've been buying pigeons from from different lofts all over the continent, uh, trying to buy the best, trying to buy children of national and international winning pigeons, um, because we want to compete at the highest level. Um, we had some some success over the last few years and. We just feel that things are going in the right direction, getting stronger and stronger every year. Um, and that hopefully one day I'll be able to say that we're, uh, we, you know, we, we, we're competing with the best and, and one of the Grand National. That'll be the, that'll be, that's the, uh, the, the dream. Hey guys, I'm, I'm going to show you something a little... A little uh, I was talking with Kevin on what he uses for trapping. Now we got this in front of us. We, ha we haven't looked at it, but uh, it's, it's your sneaky mix. Yeah. And you'll cut your sneaky mix with your grip mix yeah so basically this 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 is this is a mix that um i just sort of mixed it up myself really i bought a load of um load of grains uh so, so there's uh, there's some hemp seed linseed uh there's sunflower hearts in there rapeseed 
uh, canary and budgie seed, there's conditioning mix in there. So I buy, buy it all in straights, mix it all together. And then um, when I want to track the pigeons in, I also mix in some of this, which is, which is red grit mixed with uh, the Patagoon buckets. Uh, so you, I think you can buy them sort of all over the place, but we mix that 50-50 and then we mix this stuff 50-50. It goes in together, mix it up, and then it's like chocolate for the pigeons. When we let them out, that's the first thing they get when they enter the loft. They go crazy for it. And it just helps, I think, with, uh, with bringing the pigeons in after exercise or even from a race. Ah, well, there you go. You guys, you've seen it. You see what, the, there's a little tip now. I know the sky is falling, which is fine. Uh, I, I like some of those breeders in there. Did you want to go in and take a quick look? Because you showed me a few, man. Whoa. Come on in. We're going to have a look. And again, guys, you, you are looking at a long-distance loft. We haven't had so many this year. A lot of sprints and middles. If you guys have questions, yes, please. Now is the time. Remember, this show works the best when you guys are interactive. If you're not interactive... It's just me doing what me's do's. Coming in. So obviously this is the stock loft. Yeah. Um, there's uh, there's 13 boxes in this side. Yeah. The idea is to only use nine of them. <laughs> but I'm a, I'm a bit of a, a compulsive buyer of pigeons. So uh, the nine has, uh, has changed to uh, to 12. And there are another pair in another section that will get, get moved in there later. So we do have... 13 pairs in here. What a beautiful checker hen this is. She's about to lay. I don't want you to catch her, but what a beauty. Yeah, so that, that checker hen there, she's uh, she's a Joel for shoot pigeon. Uh, the father of her is is a pigeon called Seas. Uh, he won the first national from Brief in uh, in Belgium. And the mother is a pigeon called Suzanne, and she won the first national from Poe in uh, in Belgium also. Uh, Joel for shoot, I'm sure everyone knows who he is. Oh. He, he owned uh, Armando, so yes. for 1.4 million euros uh, <laughs> at the time it was the most expensive pigeon ever sold uh, but yeah i bought her before joel was famous if you want to call it that so you were there um, you were there before i was there before but the, 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 the i suppose a funny story about her was uh i uh, there was pigeons uh, available out of amando at the same time but it was amando paired to a pigeon that had no no race or breeding results so i opted to go for this pigeon instead had i gone the other way well, a, year, a year later uh, uh, my investment no. would have probably quadrupled now we've, we've got a we don't have a complaint but we've got a compliment for you the compliment is john gladwin says you're being very modest you're very good still in sprint and middle distance <laughs> racing so, so john is john you're just you're on fire today alfred from Colm van zorn said could those uh what could those on my pigeons alfred try it again <laughs> try it again try it again I, well I, I know alfred sometimes the english is, is a little bit tricky tell, tell john tell john i'll give him the ten or home later <laughs> see john you hear what you're getting out of this guys for this lead pigeon auctions yes we are bringing this to you again we are with kevin zarafa k and j zarafa loft uh, right now at feathers elite pigeon auctions we have running let's not forget we have anna gochia Miss Gabby Van in the Beal, as I could say. And we've got the legend of Eddie Grugens, which we know with those Maurice lines. Super, super pigeons. Hey, we were in here looking at some pigeons. Did you want to show a couple? Because I, I think I think they deserve to be looked at. <laughs> just, uh... And guys, as, as, we're, as we're in here looking at these pigeons, you can see he loves the grizzles. He loves the, the war paint. Michael wants to see the parents of the pigeons you bought. Okay, uh, you know the pigeon that you had in the sale yesterday? The blue, the yes, 91? Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. Do, you have, do you have the parents here? They're here, I don't know, they're, they're, out, they're outside. Never work with animals and children, they say. They're, they're out here. Okay, so. well, well you, we don't need to catch them. If you just point them out, we'll, we'll show them. If you come towards me. And there you uh, go, Peevler. They're, they're there together at the end there, look. This is the pair here of the 91. Do you want to talk about this pair? Yeah, so the cock there is a, is a pigeon I bought from a guy called Stuart Trahearne. Uh, both his father and mother both won the BICC National. Um, how far was that? Uh, one race was about 240 and one race was about 400 miles. Okay. Um, and the, mud, the, the hen there, sorry, which is the mother to the pigeon that was in the auction yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, her mother uh, has bred two national winners and a classic winner. 
So she's really, really well bred. She comes down from Mark Gilbert bloodlines. All right. So, um, so, so basically the father and the mother, performance, performance, performance. Yep. And there's no pressure. But now we're going to give a little, uh, a little shot back to John Gladwin of Formula One. Yes, we are looking for the win, John. <laughs> so, John, we, we, we want to get the win. Hey, thanks for putting that pigeon up. I handled it after. I bought it unhandled. It was super nice. Same with the bird from John. Super, super nice. Super quality. And I've handled it through these pigeons here. Now, who do you have in your hand, Kevin? So, this is a pigeon we call No Doubt. Um, in 2020, she, uh, she won the uh, first national BICC race from Bordeaux. 408 miles. Um, she's a half sister to another pigeon that we call um, Eastern Angel, who also won a national. So the mother of this hen has bred two national winners for us. Uh, she's a fantastic hen. Um, she's real powerful, um, and I'm hoping for, for big things for her in the stock loft now. She's obviously been retired to stock. So, so you see. Now, do you believe in eyesight? I don't. But I don't know enough about it to, to really comment. So, so it's yeah, not your I'm cup not, of tea. It's not it's not my thing. But I'm not going to sort of say that it's a, you know it's, it works or it doesn't work. I don't know. Guys, you're with Kevin Zarafa. Kevin, let's see another one, my friend. Come on, these so are. I'll show you who she's paired to. Oh boy, this has got to be something special. Again, he's looking for distance pigeons. He loves the best of the best of the distance pigeons. So, uh, so the, the cock that you just showed the guys in the Avery, which yep. is the father of the pigeon that was uh, in the auction yesterday, he's also the father of this cock. And this is a cock we call Dear John. He was named after my brother, who sadly passed away about three years ago. And uh, Dear John, basically, he raced, uh, he raced really well for us in 2020 also. Um, we sent him to uh, the Messac BBC race. And, and, and for people that are on here, what is the BBC? It's the British Barcelona Club, but it's another national competition that we race in in, in, in England, well, in the UK. Okay, so when you guys see BBC, that means British... Barcelona Club. Barcelona Club, for. okay. And so not to be confused with the BICC, which is the British International Championship Club. <laughs> so they're both national races and they sound very similar, but they're different different clubs. Okay. But but yeah, in 2020, he, uh, he was second section... 11th open against, I think it was about 2,000, something, something's just dropped down, uh, against uh, 2,800 pigeons. Uh, and then we sent him back a week later, and he was first section, third open against 10,000, just under 10,000 pigeons. So he's a really good cop. We paired him to no doubt, because uh, trying to pair winners to winners, or, or you know, real good performers to good performers. And uh, yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully it brings us something nice. Well, well I'll tell you, you, you've got some outstanding pigeons. Is there anybody else you want to show? Where's your Bordeaux winner? Come on, man. That was her. We showed you. Oh, shit. I see. I, I, you know what? I had a comment come in that said, Ryan, you're doing a great job. Keep up the good work. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I, I seen it. Uh, you know what? It, it's hard. You know, you know I'm going to be honest, guys. I have a hell of a time multitasking and keeping the camera straight, keeping this guy on point. And again, the, the big... Oh, look at this. So this hen, uh, this, this is the mother of dear John, the one that I just showed you, the cock I just showed you. Um, but she's also the mother of um, the pigeon that was the first uh, first ace pigeon in the RPRA one loft race last year. Um, he was uh, he was fifth in the final, right? And he won the ace pigeon award for the obviously the best uh, the best coefficient or best results over the course of the season, um, winning us a total of eleven and a half thousand pounds. Eleven and a half thousand pounds. Yeah. So you even got some one loft winning going yeah, on so, here. So she she also bred twentieth open in the year before. So she's producing, she's got the nice third bar. Again, another pigeon with tusks. Yeah. You've got a couple of them in here that have those little horns, those little barbs, per se, outstanding. Now, we know, maybe, you know what we'll do, because we've seen all these grizzles and we haven't, we haven't talked about the grizzles yet. We want to talk about the grizzles. Do you want to talk about the grizzles or is this the right section or do we want to go over and look? Well, we can give them a flavour in here, I guess. Give them a little flavour, yeah. okay. So, so, so obviously I think a lot of people in the UK especially will know that um, back in 2019 I bought a pigeon called Queen Mary which um, which won the Tarps Grand National in, in, in the same year. Uh, it, she belonged and she was raced by a chap called uh, Darren McFadden. Um, so everything that you see in here that's, that's a grizzle is 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 either uh, you know, her child, her or or it's she's it's something that's bred 
kind of around her bloodlines. So maybe it's out of uh, her father, because I had her father here on loan for a year. Um, or it's out of her direct. But yeah, all the white grizzles are down from her. Um, I paid a fairly large sum for her, but Tarbes National winners don't come on the market very often, so I, um, I really wanted the pigeon, and I sort of went all out to buy her. There's a few other bidders that, that pushed me all the way, but I was lucky enough to get her. And, um, and, and for people wondering, that race, what is that? Uh, it, it's a big race. Why is it so big? What's so special about it's, it? It's just the history that it goes back you know, over 100 years. Um, arguably, the NFC, the National Flying Club, is the biggest uh, organization that race, you know, or the, or the most prestigious organization, should I say, that race into the UK. Um, people will probably argue and dis dispute that, but... Uh, for me, anyway, it's, my dream has always been to win Poe or Tarbes Grand National, and that's something I'm going to try and continue. Even you know, now I've lost my dad, I'm going to still continue to try and do that, and hopefully one day I can do that and, and dedicate that performance to him. So you've got a little work to go. Now, how have you done in some of those races participating? Yeah, so the last two years we've done okay. Every year I tried, or we try to improve on our last year's performance. So two years ago, I think our best, our best. Uh, position was 71st open in that race last year we were I think we were 39th uh, sorry not last year because we were at uh, Thurso but the year last time we raced that race we were 39th open I think it was 39th um, so we're just trying to improve year on year um, and, and obviously the reason for buying these pigeons and buying Queen Mary and that kind of pigeon is because I want to win we want to win the race you know and, that, and we're trying to buy the best we can buy get the best bloodlines in the loft and try and get the performances up Hey, quite simple to me. We've got about 50 people on the line. They're going to want to see her. They want to see the super head. Now, we're going to take you over. You're going to you're going to watch me. I'll follow you. Okay. And nobody will know. <laughs> we just got to go into the next loft at the L, at okay. the end of the L. So, guys, as I always say, where do you guys go to bid Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions? All bids are in Canadian dollars. Yes, we're building on Season 5. How could I leave this guy out? He was on fire yesterday. You should have seen what he was doing at the, at the sale. All kinds of good moves but you know as I say as we go inch by inch brick by brick mile by mile we always look to bring new people to Feathers Elite we want to go the distance we want to go the miles for you guys please check it out right now there's 52 of you on the line give respect for respect is due Eddie Grugins is running right now go in check a look take a look at that Maurice line of pigeons check that out and you'll see also guys here's another thing one more thing Anna Gochia, Miss Gabby Van and Nabil. Oh, we got the dogs Just in. Just watch out for the guard dogs. They're, uh, they're killers. Oh, I don't worry about the guard dogs. It's okay. So, here we are. Individual breeding land. Yes. Yeah, so basically we bought these a few years ago. Um, when we bought Queen Mary, we wanted somewhere to have that we could sort of guarantee parentage. Also a bit of extra security as well. Okay. Um, safer in, in in here so yeah so she, she she lives in here in the in the in the summer months when she's breeding and there she is eh? she's in here yeah she was a beautiful and before you catch her let me just and do you want to talk about her again okay so yeah so obviously she's pumping youngins at the moment so she's probably not not in the best of uh of uh condition but she's uh she won tarps grand national in 2019 uh she flew it the year before and she was second section, uh, 26th open. Like I say, Darren McFadden raced her. She's a lovely hen. And this year we've got a pair to a pigeon we call the Northman. Uh, the Northman was um, first section, 14th open from Thurso, which is 547 miles to us. Um, he was the only bird on the day in the BBC, um, in our section that is. Uh, and he was the longest flying bird on the day, on the winning day. So a real good performance. Um, he, he's got lots of character, boy. See him talking to us? See him puffing his throat up at us? He's saying, what are we doing in here? Babies look great, look healthy. Take a look at her. Sometimes, you know, you can handle pigeons. You know what we're going to do with this pigeon? We're not going to bother her. You know why? Because she's done everything we've asked of her. She's allowed this camera to come in. The cock, they look super here. They're nice feeling pigeons. They're not big guys. If you think these are monster pigeons, you're going to be sadly mistaken. They're super buoyant. She has got super feather quality. She's got the square breeding feathers. This hen has it really all. And an eye sign, it, 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 you know, I, I would love to photograph that eye. She's a super. She's got that nice smutty looking, smutty looking grizzle to her. Okay, so that's that's the super hen. Yep. 
And uh, what else we got here? Because I see we've got a little bit more. Yeah, so next door, this is um, the red hen in here. She, that's a pigeon we call Chantel. Well, we didn't name her. We bought her in also. Okay. Uh, and um, the year before, she was uh, she was third brand national tarbs um, in one of the hardest ones on record. Um, and uh, the, the fancy is that raced her. They Unfortunately, they had to pack up in the sport. They put her up for sale, and I bought, we bought her again. Oh, we bought another one, should I say. Um, and the cock that she's paired to, that's a son of Queen Mary, when Queen Mary was paired to the Tarbs Grand National winner from 2018, which was the year before, which is a pigeon called Ernie's Blue Star. Mm -hmm. And that was raced by um, Jimmy Wern and Eric Nielsen. And they're good friends of mine. So uh, when we bought Queen Mary in, we, we sort of negotiated with them or spoke to them about, about putting the two Tarbs National winners together. It hadn't been done before at that time. So this is, a, this, is, this, is, this is a direct child out of a two double... Two, two grand national winners. So uh, And that's never been done before in the history of it. Not, 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 not to our knowledge. It had never been done before. So we done it. We, uh, we, we, put a, we put a child up for sale at Blackpool. It went really well. Uh, and then we bred a few more and we, we retained most of them for our own stock purposes. A couple were, were, were released on sale. They went. Um, but in the main, we kept most of them. You know what I'm, you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking he might have to go back to his mother. <laughs> oh boy, we call that the. He's a real character. He is. You can uh, see it in his face, eh? Yeah, he's a real character. A real character pigeon, guys. For this elite pigeon auctions, if you're wondering what we're looking at, no, these aren't just pigeons. No, this isn't. <laughs> Kevin Zarafa, that's right. He's the distance racing machine, and as John Gladwin says, don't be fooled. He'll kick your ass in in the sprints <laughs> and in the middles as well. We always like. Uh, breeders showing respect to other breeders. Who else we got in here? So we've got a cock on the floor here, dark checker cock. Uh, it's a pigeon called Mr. Parsons. We bought him from Andy Parsons. Um, he uh, he uh, he's bred fifth open in the Grand National himself, um, and uh, he's paired to a hen that's out of um, a full. Uh, sorry, no, it's out of Queen Mary's father, so Snow Prince. So it's a half sister to Queen Mary, mm -hmm. and the uh, the mother of that hen is a pigeon called Lady Supreme. Uh, a Lady Supreme bred two national winners and a classic winner, so she's a real diamond breeder. We bought her from Mark Gilbert. I say we because um, I bought her in uh, in sort of um, cahoots with uh, a chap called Dean Charles, which a lot of the people will know on the on the on the, uh, on, the on the video there. Um, and she's uh, she's gone back down to Dean's now. We sort of share her. One year she's here, one year she's down there. And uh, we share her, and uh, yeah, yeah. So we bought a few out of her, and, and that's one of the ch children. Very, very nice. Again, you love you love the grizzles. You're yeah, not afraid. Grizzles. You're not afraid to play with grizzles, eh? Not afraid to play with grizzles. And in here, this is uh, so this this white cock here is a full brother to the white grizzle hen next door. Okay. So he's out of Snow Prince, who is the father of Queen Mary, and the mother is Lady Supreme, and she's uh, she's a daughter of Southfield Supreme, who won the international for Mark Gilbert. The hen you can see there was bred by a chap called Duncan Goodchild. He's from he's from over Essex Way as well, and uh, she's bred out of a, a cock called uh, Just for John, who was um, a certificate of merit award winner. He was uh, I think he had third, seventh, and thirteenth open in the national races from Perpignan. Um, Duncan will probably correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, and the mother of her is a pigeon they call Mirfar. Uh, my apologies. <laughs> shit, shit, shit. I didn't think she'd do that. Hold on. Okay, two seconds. Let me just get her. That, that wasn't my fault, guys. I thought she wasn't going to move. Hey, it happens. We are live, but it's okay. okay. Good okay. things happen when you're live. Good things happen when you're live. We're going to keep it calm. Man, she was hot to try. <laughs> well, hey, you got her in your hands now. Kevin, let's show her while okay. she's here. She, you know what? Boy, she's feeling good. You can see. Yeah, she's in a good shape. Yeah, her mother is called Mirfar, and uh, she won a national race in the BICC as well. So that's our bit of excitement for the day, Ryan. Well, hey, <laughs> it would have been better if we would have let some out, get them right out and going. No, uh, guys, for those elite pigeon auctions, we are here. Uh, Kevin... Oh yeah, fired up, ready to go. They don't get handled very often in here, so... Uh, no, you don't bother them. No, I leave them. I let, just let them get on with it. They get fed from outside. They get watered from outside. I literally I'll go in to ring the babies, have a quick scrape around maybe once a week. Um, and, and I just let them get on with it. They hop a fed in there. <clears throat> For pe people that want to see, there you go. Not, I don't think it's an overly special no, mix. No, it's just, it's just a, it's a breeding mix. It's, it's a couple of breeding mixes mixed together. Um, and they just pick what they want and then maybe after a few days all I'll do is they start to leave what they don't want so I'll just take that out 
and replenish again and put some new stuff in so now these pens here <clears throat> looking at them they're nice uh something like this a setup where did you get this from this is jeff greenway also um, oh, another plug for jeff another plug for jeff so very, very good quality here they are they're great they're great so um when you first put the pigeons in the the rattling of the of the metal they're a bit nervous around it so what what, what we tend to do is during the winter months we'll introduce the cocks in here for a few weeks take them out introduce the hens in for a few weeks take them out and then when we finally pair them up so they climatize to it so they sort understand of, it exactly that so is it obviously the noise that they make when they, they sort of rattle a little bit so they don't really like it that much but once they get used to it they're fine unless like scary canadian people go in and chase them out of the loft <laughs> <laughs> you see, you see, I had to do something, guys. Again, this wouldn't be a good lock tour unless we didn't get some excitement. Because you know what, Kevin's been just doing everything too damn smooth. Um, people, if you have questions, Sonia, you might want to try a couple. Of, just, I'm just saying, you want the distance, Sonia Vandermeer, and she wants to win Barcelona. And, and I'm thinking this might just be the hand for you. Yes, season five, we will have a very small but high voltage as you've seen them come out i wanted to make sure that they were they were ready to go high voltage distance pigeons and these pigeons here again you want to see them four or five hundred mile races yeah does the water bother them no then they love the water so the dogs are the dogs are calling because they miss the, me the dogs are calling miss miss you um i uh, don't know the water doesn't bother them um like i say she did it two years on the trot um and she was like um you know what Obviously, she won it the second time of asking. The first time, she was second section, uh, 26th open, against like 2,000-odd pigeons. Um, against the best pigeons in the UK, I've got to add as well, because people send their best to these races. Um, so she's, she's a great performance pigeon. Both times, she was the second day bird, so, you know, she's she maybe not quick enough to do the day stuff, but um, she certainly, uh, certainly scored both times in, in great style. The wins are all right here. I mean... What more can you ask for? Guys, uh, if you had questions, now is your time. Watching from the Philippines. What else are we watching from? Thomas O'Connor, yes. Kristen Marshman, yes. Good, 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 good. Everyone's happy. Anything you want to add, my friend? Um, no, that's it, really. For, for these pigeons in here, anyway. I mean, like I say, we, we put like, Queen Mary's in here, Chantel's in here. And there's a few other select pairs that we put in just because we want to guarantee the parentage. Um, and it's a bit like, say, it's a bit of ex extra security for the birds being in here. Safer. Uh, and, and you know what they're out of. And, and that's the whole thing. Uh, you stand behind the pigeons. I, again, I will say, I was lucky enough to get the bird yesterday at the sale. Uh, it was a super. It was a blue. Man, it had muscles on top of its eyes. For a young pigeon, great muscles, uh, good balance. And uh, John Gladwin's going to fly it for us. Here we are. Where are we again in England? What we're part? In, we're in Portsmouth. We're in Portsmouth. I was on, on Friday. I was in Manchester, and yesterday I was in where? Epson. 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 Now, I'm in, Epson. now I'm in Portsmouth. Now Portsmouth. Guys, you see the man here himself. You've seen the pigeons. Yes, do these grizzles win? <laughs> well, you're going to have to find out because he knows they can win. Yeah, they're good pigeons. Good pigeons. The, the good pigeons, they get the results. And guys, we've done a lot of sprint in middle. Now you have a shot for some long distance. Yes, season five. This man, we will handle a very small but super select quality. So please be prepared. I want to thank you for uh, going live with us. I want to thank the viewers for being a part of it, guys. We, the only thing on the viewer side is you guys got to ask some more questions. But that's okay. We want to get him cornered, just like I got cornered there in the corner. <laughs> As I say... <laughs> Can you show us one parent, please? I don't, I don't understand the question. Sorry. Watching from Mississippi, Long Beach. Okay, good, good, good. Hey, guys, that's Kevin. I'm Ryan. That's Kevin. That pair there is crazy. They want to come out, so we won't worry about them. Thank you for having us here. I superly enjoyed it. It was well worth the drive to Portsmouth. Guys, if you have nothing going on, drive down to Portsmouth. It's great. Weather's beautiful here. Warm. The beers are great. And what was that beer we had that we, we had liked? Some, some Maltese beer, didn't we? So, uh, some Chisk. Chisk. Guys, was it good? Yes, it was. <laughs> Try it out. Hey, Kevin, I'm going to let you guys go. On this note, you take a look right there. There's the best of the best. 
through the greats. Thanks for flying with us. Bye for now.